Hello Reds, it's Daniel Peeney here at Red My Fan TV. Today I am with the man Nev. Nev, we've got a couple of things to talk about today, haven't we? We've got a few things to talk about, yeah. Um, I suppose we go into the um, the European um, groups, the European Cup. Champions League draw, Champions obviously, League has draw. been made. Um, we have uh, joined ourselves and found ourselves in quite, I would say, quite a favourable, preferable group draw, would you say so, Nev? Not a bad group at all. Not a bad group at um, all. Napoli, obviously, the ones, they have beat us, they beat us last time 1-0, right, yeah. so um, obviously they're the ones to watch in the group, but the others, I think we can quietly, confidently say we should be all right there. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm confident as of us uh, topping that group yeah. anyway. Napoli, obviously, well managed. They've obviously got Carlo Ancelotti in yeah. place, you know, a man who's done, been there, done it all, knows, yeah. how to t and knows how to put a team out to do a job and tactically so well away. Yeah. You know, he's a winner at the end of the day, so they'll be difficult group games, I think. But obviously, when you look at the other teams involved there, there's Red Bull Salzburg and there's Genk as well. Genk, so, yeah. yeah. So, in terms, in terms of those teams, while I'm sure they're going to be competitive we we obviously go out there be professional do our own work do the job and hopefully that gets us through to the group stages and you know what happens when Liverpool get through to the group <laughs> stages hopefully it means another ride well, another wild ride and uh, hopefully Istanbul on the horror, off, horizon off we go again number yeah. seven but yeah uh, well let's wait let's not, <laughs> let's not count the chickens so early yeah let's wait and see um obviously pick pick of the pick of the other groups for me is probably Tottenham by Munich I think that'll be a great little game I think it's yeah. uh, you know it's going to be a tough group that um, it's a tough group they've got Olympiacos in there as well so you yeah, know, no game. push over tough group and obviously with Tottenham the way they're playing at the moment it's uh, I feel like they're coming towards the end of an arc in terms of the you know Potocino yeah. and the players that there. There needs to be change at Tottenham. Yeah. I think there's change yeah. coming rather at Tottenham. So be interesting to see what happens there. Uh, for me, the group, the pick of the groups is probably Group A. You've got um, Real Madrid in there. You've got PSG in there, and I believe Galatasaray yeah. uh, and Club Bruges. Bruges. Uh, Simon Miglale obviously will be yeah. a <laughs> nice introduction back to the Champions League for Simon Miglale. I hope he, uh, I hope he enjoys picking the ball out of the net. <laughs> <laughs> From from us, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but yeah. obviously that's a tough group. Um, and then obviously from the other teams involved, the other English teams involved, I, I City were quite a favourable group. There was no one there really there. Yeah, who, nobody. Uh, who will face a challenge really for City? I think um, you know in terms of who they're actually up against. I think it's at are they facing Atlanta? Is it that they've got? Yeah, yeah. Um, they've got um, Shakhtar Don Don X and Atlanta. And Dynamo Zagreb. Yeah, I can't. So. But you know, maybe maybe more of an impact on the Premier League because obviously there's a couple of trips over east there, um, especially in Dynamo Zagreb. Yeah, that's yeah, a trip some, to Russia. Some travel in there. Yeah, that's a trip to Russia. Yeah. So yeah, that'll be that's that hopefully will impact on the legs in the Premier League. Tired legs. Uh, and then Chelsea. While Chelsea don't have anyone. You know, you could probably class as A grade in their group. I yeah. think all the games are going to be difficult games. For the, the, yeah, you've you've got Ajax and Valencia yeah. there, like you know, so, and Lille. So and Lille too. again, no pushover teams there. No, definitely not. So it'll be interesting to see how Frank Lampard goes there. Yeah. But all in all, I, th I think we're in a good position there. I think the none of the games are too far away from us. Some nice European trips for the lads there, especially uh, going to Belgium. I think that'll yeah, be, that'll be very nice. That'll be a very nice away game. So yeah, um, and Salzburg, Salzburg. Obviously Austria, Austria, yeah. Austria, yeah. yeah. Salzburg and Austria, so two really nice away away European cities to yeah. go away to yeah. there. So I hope the Reds enjoy that one. So moving on, um, moving on to probably a little bit more of a serious note. Um, obviously, one of the major developments for Liverpool this week has been the issue with Bobby Duncan and his agent. I don't know if you're all being aware yeah. on that. Um, what are your thoughts on that, Nev? Uh, it, it's sort of twofold, and you, and you mentioned it before we um, started filming. You know, um, if there's a genuine mental health issue going on there, then yeah, the, the, the club has a, um, a responsibility to look after him. He's an 18 year old lad. Yeah, he is. You know, he, he, he's still a young lad. Um, I, I must admit, there's a part of me that thinks, hang on a minute, slow down, son. Yeah. You're 18. Yeah. You know, you've just got to a team like Liverpool. Um, you've been here two minutes, and um, is, is he making demands? I don't know. We're not there to see it in, in its fullness ourselves. Obviously, we only get what's fed to us via the press and the club itself. Um, 
Yeah, it's, it's they need to sit down. Basically, they yeah. need to sit down with the club and talk it out. Don't do this stuff through the press. Yeah. You know, don't do your dirty washing in the public. That's right. Yeah. Sit down and do some yeah. talking. I mean, yourself. Yeah. There was a fantastic article in the Athletic um, today in relation to this situation itself, and the main thing it was a bit of an inside story about what was going on. And the main thing is, is his agent Bobby Duncan, who's an agent who's well known. He's, he, he represents a number of players. He's been involved in the game for a long long time um has basically come out and attacked michael edwards and the club um and saying basically that he's he's, he's basically been the victim of mental abuse um which to be quite frank when read between the lines it seems like bobby wants to be playing football first team football which is at 18 years old and this liverpool team is just not going to happen no uh, his agents re you know engineered a move apparently to fiorentina which was a loan move but the terms of the loan move were that if he played 10 games 10 first team games he would basically we would command the 1.6 million transfer fee and basically he would move but if he didn't play those 10 games then no fee would be forthcoming and he's on 150 white right, 150 pound a week yts wages or sorry 1500 pounds a week yts wages at the moment uh, he was looking for a wage rise and um, which hasn't happened yeah and um, because liverpool don't need to quite frankly he's still tied down for another two years um he hasn't proved himself for us not yet. really no and um you know i think it goes to show that when you're dealing with a kid when you know i remember being 18 and i to be honest, didn't know, didn't know what was going on. I thought I did, but I didn't really know what was going on. So the people around you and, and the way that they influence you and, and obviously tell you, tell guide you in what to do is, is, is really, really important. And for yeah. me, if you're an agent, you're an agent and you're telling an 18 year old kid who's, who's having mental health issues, look, go to Italy, off you go to Italy, off yeah. you go to compete with the first team for a good team in Fiorentina. And yeah, yeah let's see how you go. Um, I don't think that's looking after him. That doesn't sound no, like it's not at all. It's a big risk kid. for him as well. Yeah, Even at eighteen, that's a massive risk for yeah, him because it could all end up in nothing. Yeah, absolutely. You know, so yeah. learn a new language, go in and speak a difficult language. Italy isn't easy to learn. New place without his family. And by the way, the agent gets a nice big fat fee. Of for, course, for he doing does. That, so. yeah, of course. Yeah, does. Um, I wasn't very impressed by it, and I let's hope that Bobby Duncan gets the help he needs if he needs it, and let's hope that the agent who, by the way, is being laughed out of uh, the social media world uh, on Twitter, by the way, so a little bit of karma, for, well, per perceived karma anyway for his actions so far. So yeah. let's see how that one develops. <coughs> so moving on, uh, moving on to the game this weekend. Burnley, Burnley. Burnley away. Yeah, Burnley away. I mean, look, Burnley have been doing all right. Yeah, they have. Won one, drawn one, lost one. Yep. You know, uh, not including the uh, the Carabao Cup, of course, yeah. um, which of course they lost to Sunderland. Yeah. Um, but that that's got them in. Where are they? Sixth, I think. Yeah, yeah. Right, six yeah. sixth place. They're doing all right. So um, and we're away to them. Yeah. So uh, again, no pushover game, really. Yeah. You know. You know what you're going to get with a dice team. You're going to get organised at the back. They're going to be compact. They're going to be aggressive up front. They're going to have Giles Barnes probably playing up front uh, with Chris Wood. They're going to really try and barrack us, get the second balls, get the knockdowns and look to capitalise on them uh, and keep that really, really organised back four. The goal Milner scored, um, I don't know if it was last season or the season before, but that was actually a, a setup by Klopp um, in deliberately shooting and keeping the ball low from distance right. because of the way that they set up and the way that they defend. So it'll be interesting to see if we replicate those tactics. I think we're probably going to see Lana start. I think there's going to be a bit of a bit of a shock. I think we're going to see the Yeah, I think there's going to be some changes for yeah. this one. Yeah. yeah, I think Lana's going to start. I think Milner will start. I wouldn't be surprised if Gomez plays. Um, and I, I think we'll be looking to battle those second balls. So you might even see Lovren come back into the team. We'll wait and see. Yeah. Um, but yeah, um, I would not do not be surprised in the slightest if Lallana starts. I, I, I think it, yeah, I think he's probably yeah. nailed on for that game if he's fit. Yeah. Do you think Do you think we're going to keep that high line? Keep keep keeping it, you know, high up the field, letting them come at us. You know, I know I know we're inviting the long balls over, but we seem to be coping with that yeah. you know and expecting it almost yeah you know um, with them playing out from the back yeah which everybody seems to be doing at the moment you know with the new rule the, the high line obviously is 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 about VAR it's about VAR it's yeah. about that decisions now can be examined to the microcosm and that we are confident enough that we will we will stop more goals than we concede 
using a high line yeah. before. Yeah. Now, don't get me wrong, I think what we're probably going to end up seeing is teams getting wise to it and breaking from deep. You will see a third man, a third runner breaking from deep yeah. and trying to beat that far trap. Um, but, you know, if you've got the recovery pace of Gomez, Virgil van Dijk, and we know can put the after afterburners on, yeah. and Matip's no slouch as we've seen with a bad yeah. which I think surprised everybody no. the other day. Yeah. Um, you know, um, I think we'll be confident that we'll probably stop more goals than we concede. Yeah. And let's be honest, isn't that the most important thing? Absolutely, yeah, yeah, you know. And the keeper's doing all right. We, You know, we, we don't need to mention what happened the other day. It was a one-off, you know. He, he, he's doing absolutely fine. Yes, we want Alisson back, but... Yeah. He's doing okay. He's holding yeah. his own at the moment, you yeah. know. So, exactly. and, and I think the players have got enough confidence yeah. in him, yeah. you know, to trust him. Yeah. So, um, no, I'm, I'm confident that we can do to get. I mean, we're, we're just playing so solidly. We're playing yeah. so tight. Yeah. And as you said, the, the, the likes of Gomez and Trent, you know, firing forward and then tracking back, you know, with this high line, it's yeah. it, it's working yeah. for us, like yeah. you know. So, yeah. And I think we're going to see the best of Trent in the next couple of months. I think he's. I think he, more than any of the other players, has been struggling to get to grips with the pre-season rig demands, yes, you know, the, yeah. the rigours of Klopp's, Klopp's training, which is obviously about later in the season. It's about being fit for later in the season, not just now. Yeah. So I think I think probably come the winter period, we're really going to see Trent do yeah, well for us. Yeah. So watch this space on that. Yeah. And don't be surprised if you see more winter breaks and more short breaks away if we get knocked out of any of the cups or when when time allows, we we will probably go off and do some pre-season work. Yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah, so looking forward to Burnley this weekend. It's going to be a tough game. Uh, Nev, what's your prediction for that one? <sighs> prediction? I'm going to go 2-0. 2-0? 2-0, yeah, to us, obviously. We've been conceding goals, so I'm going to go with a 2-1. Tight 2-1 or 3-1 again. Uh, I think we'll probably concede again. We might even concede first, but uh, back the lads to power air have too far too much for Burnley. Yeah. So um some to some good news. Some good some news. Good news, yeah. yeah Virgil. And Alison as well. Alison Beckham to uh, to say the least. Uh, what were the awards? Um European um UEFA sorry player of the year. UEFA Player of the Year, so that was for his performances in European Van Dijk. football. Yeah. Virgil van Dijk was ahead by a country mile. I believe the voting difference between, to Messi and Ronaldo was over 100 points. Yeah, um, there was 100 points between him and Messi and 200 points between him and Ronaldo. There you go. There give, you go. give or take a few. but We literally have the best centre-back in Europe right now and I would probably Arguably say the, world. the world. Arguably the world. Arguably too. the so world. We should be very proud of that. And Alison Becker was also main goalkeeper of the tournament, of the tournament last year. Deservedly so. Tournament. And the good news is he walked up and down the steps to collect his work, yeah. unaided, <laughs> no problems yeah. whatsoever. So it's good to see that Alison Becker's walking around. Yeah. Um, and yeah, and that's, that's absolutely fantastic. Um, so yeah, um, um, should be an interesting game this weekend. I'm looking forward to it, Nev. I hope you are too. Very much so. Um, yeah. We just want to let everybody know um, that basically uh, Jamie Webster of Boss Nights uh, in Liverpool, which if you have not had a little look, have a Google, have a little look online at Boss Night, is coming to Perth on the 28th of November. Tickets are £25. It's going to be in the city centre, I believe, at the Pan Pacific. It is basically about lots of Liverpool songs, Liverpool FC songs, but also songs from the city of Liverpool. Jamie, Jamie is an old rock star, but he is a man who's going to get people going. He's going to be a man who gets things going. So it's going to be fantastic to be able to celebrate with fellow Liverpool fans, yeah. have a proper Perth boss night. Yeah, he's going to get the room pumping. It's going to be bouncing. Yeah, it's going to yeah. be, I believe it's a Saturday. I'm not quite sure, but I believe it's a Saturday night too. Yeah. So, you know, come along, get yourself some tickets because it's going to sell out fast. Get involved because I tell you what, it's going to be a cracking night. Yeah. And I suppose that's about it for uh, about from it. us for tonight. Um, obviously, don't forget to check out Far Foreign Land. Check out the website. Look at their t-shirts and what have you. And obviously, as I always say, tell your mum, tell your dad, your neighbours, your mates. Look us up. You know, get them onto the page. Start following us. Tell everyone about us. Okay. Thank you very much. One last thing, guys. Comments on Bobby Duncan. Comments on the team selection for the weekend. Let us know in the video what you think of the Redmen. See you later.